Now we're gonna do a Katy Perry look on Sunday. I'm Emily Ansel, I'm a makeup artist here in New York City. And this look uh, is inspired by Katy Perry who is a constant fashion chameleon, but she always has uh, a very retro look about her. So we're gonna start, and I'm gonna start by using some eyeshadow. This is YSL Pure Chromatics number 19. Um, these shades can be used wet or dry, and they are very shimmery. I'm using the lightest color. I wet it just a little bit, so I would get a little bit more of intensity of color. Close your eye for me, Sunday. I'm starting at the inner corner. I'm applying it all over her lid. Now I'm going to take the second color and I'm just going to apply a little bit to the outer corner. I'm using a short shader brush so I can be a little bit more precise with applying this towards the outer corner. Before I come through with a liquid liner, I'm going to sketch with black eyeshadow using an angle brush where I want the line to be. This is Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Once you apply this, it lasts a really long time. I'm just gonna follow the line that I already drew on her. I'm doing the same thing on this side of her eye. I'm just following that line that I created. We're gonna curl her eyelashes. I'm gonna walk it out to about midway through and curl again. Same thing over here. Gonna try to capture all those long lashes. Now her lashes are ready for mascara. You can apply mascara however you prefer. Gonna also get her lower lash line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on her other eye. Now we're going to put some strip lashes on Sunday. Two things are very important when applying false eyelashes. One is to make sure that you try the strip lash on the eye before you apply it because every eye shape is different and you might need to trim it a little bit. And then the other thing is, is that notice how I applied the glue. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm not going to put it right on her eye. I'm going to let that glue just get a little bit tacky. It's going to stick better. And I'm just going to use my fingers, gently coming in, and I'm going to apply the lash in the same way. Now I'm going to take a little bit more mascara and my lash curler. Just going to get in there and gently curl her lashes and the false lashes together. I'm just adding some more mascara to her lashes and the false lashes. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. The steps we have left are eyebrows, cheeks, and lips. This is a little duo by Benefit um, called Browsings. I'm gonna use some powder and a little bit of wax and I'm just gonna gently sketch. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of that wax on top as well. Just to set that, I'm gonna use a clear brow gel. And I'm just going to gently comb through. Next, we're gonna give her that perfect pink pout. Um, I'm going to use Stila's uh, Raspberry Crush Lip and Cheek Stain, and I'm letting the lip brush do the work for me. Just using that lip brush to follow the line of her lip. Now it's time for blush. I'm gonna add um, a lighter pink. And I'm gonna have her smile for me. I'm just gonna hit those cheeks, the apple of the cheek. I'm gonna finish off this look with some powder to keep down the shine. 
And if you want a little extra something, you can add a little bit of shadow underneath. So just to recap everything that we did, we started with um, an airbrush base where she had some highlight. Then we gave her a dramatic eye. We started with a very sparkly uh, light pink shadow. And we added a little bit of a darker one for a little more depth in the outer corner. We drew the lash line um, across the lash line, the eyeliner um, with shadow to sort of sketch out where we wanted it. Then we came back through with some Stila liquid liner so that it will last all day. Um, after that, we did um, curl the lashes with mascara. We applied the strips. We curled them together. We did mascara. We defined her brow. We did a perfect pink pout with, using a Stila lip stain. Uh, we did a little bit of pink blush, and we gave her some powder. We also added a little bit of shadow underneath for that extra edge. So thank you to Sunday, our lovely model. I'm Emily Ansel, New York City makeup artist. Thank you for watching.